Greetings, everyone. I'm Ambe Singh, and today I joined by Jonas Rapp to kick off the Power Platform Community Tool Series. In this series, we will explore a comprehensive set of the tools and demonstrations of their uses. Additionally, we will discuss the advantages and potential drawback associated with each tool. I encourage you to stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and share the videos with your friends and colleagues. In this episode, we will talk about one of the greatest community tool named XRM Toolbox, a bit of history and how it is making a life easier for the users, administrators, and developers. Before diving, why don't you have a few words from Jonas? Over to you, Jonas. Hi there. Uh, well, I'm Jonas as I said, and uh, it's, it's good to be here to sort of sharing a bit more about the external toolbox and why we should use and how we should use it and uh, why we shouldn't. That's important too. So, well, just go on. Let's uh, start to show the intro. Thank you so much, Jonas. The Power Platform community has created a suite of the valuable tool designed to enhance your experience when working with the Microsoft Data Wars. Formerly, we know that it called as a common data service and the model driven app, sometimes the Power Pages. Let me spotlight a few of these community driven tools, including XRM Toolbox, Level Up, PCF Gallery, and so many others. It is important to note that while these tools are not officially supported by the Microsoft, they can significantly improve your productivity and efficiency. Should you have any questions or encountered any issues, feel free to reach out to the respective tool publishers. Very important. Another thing here that these tools are free of cost by nature. So users don't have to pay any additional cost for that. Yes, they can contribute in the multiple way. They can go for the donations. They can provide more and more content inside by preparing the another set of the tools and publish it. So it is all driven by the community. Now, let's start with the first one, the XRM Toolbox. So this tool is a window-based application that connects to the Microsoft Dataverse, Dynamic 365 customer engagement applications like Dynamic 365 for sales, customer insight, services. Also, it's used to uh, tenant by the Microsoft Dataverse as their foundational data services. XRM Toolbox provides tools to ease customization, configuration, and operational tasks for anything built on the top of Microsoft Dataverse. It is shipped more than around 350 tools for the administration, customization, or the configuration task, which is making more easier and easier. And initially, it was more time consuming. I would like to hear a bit about the history and few ideas because we have a Jonas rep available here and I think he's the best person to answer this. So maybe Jonas to you if you well, give I'm not some best insight about it. Uh, give an answer, but uh, that's our God, yeah. the uh, Tangita Sad, mm -hmm. the guy from French who created this excellent toolbox uh, in 2012, I think, started yeah. to, to sort of put all of these uh, separate tools he had to put it in the same toolbox. And that's great. So. Pretty so soon after that, we other people like me were starting to create our own tools that we thought that we need or someone else need. So it's it's a very sort of it's a great platform. Uh, so I think of the Excel toolbox is a lot more. It's a platform at least, so we can easily create our own tools that where we find something that we need or someone something that we might give to the other people out in the in the community. So yeah, thank you, Tangita Zard, again. We should always say that every night before we go to bed, say thank you, Tangu. Yeah, great words, Yuna. So really like he is a person who saved a lot of engineers, makers and the developers time. Otherwise we would be struggling a lot for the day-to-day -day activities. And because I just mentioned that the popularity of any kind of the community tools become evident, when you consider its recent uses. So over the past 30 days, if you can see in this uh, report, it has been utilized by more than 375,000 developers or the creator worldwide, which is an amazing number in my view. This is keep growing. And you can clearly see even in the last one week also, it is more than around 87,000 people. So quite a big number. And it's, the motto- It's motor, a crazy number. It's a crazy. It's a true. lot of people who are using this. I yeah. don't really understand why, but maybe it's a awesome toolbox. And I guess, I mean, why why is it out there? Why do we have this excellent toolbox? 
Well, we create tools when Microsoft didn't. So that's like, we need this. Microsoft didn't do it. So, okay, then we can do it. And I think it's great with the platform for the PowerPath platform is that we get the SDK and a lot of other things that we can use for creating our tools or creating our how our use needs for the customer and so on. Um, I like this platform, all of these platforms, both for the Power Platform and for the external toolbox. Well said, you know, because I do remember my journey to the Dynamics Serum. I started the interface from the one side on the browser, and the second thing what I install on my machine is an XRM toolbox, which has been asked by my mentors. This tool is not something new. It was there for the ages, and the users are awesome, but I can still feel and we already discussed in the Slovenia in the Dynamics Mind that a lot of people even not aware about this tool, some of the capabilities around that. It has a rich potential if people start using that one. And also maybe if you can just tell how people could contribute, like not only in the terms of the uses, but if they would like probably to build a tool from their own, uh, how they can contribute because you already built a lot of tools inside the XRM toolbox. So any any idea around that? Sort of, I started thinking about which tool I'm going to create after this one. And sort of, I cannot just sort of to produce something we need. But I mean, when you create tools that are actually used, that's always coming from when I, my own, myself, I feel I need this. It's like, as you may know, the Fetch Excellent Builder. I had mm -hmm. created it because it was it died from the um, Stunware who created sort of the same type of external toolbox. But after um, some Microsoft Dynamics 2013 or 11, I don't remember, it's like 10 years ago or plus, when uh, they changed it, the SDK and these uh, tools weren't updated, which means we needed something. And I guess like that. When we feel we need, I need something to make our our work, our time a lot easier. So, so it's not too boring to do the things that, but I can use it automatically or with a tool of some kind. That's why when we start to create, just so don't try to find a good tool to create, but when you feel your need, then yeah. just build it. Yeah, well said. Like any, any, every innovation comes from the necessity. So if we have the necessity of something which is being not available to the market or there's a gap, I think we are the best person to decide and to judge and to come up with the ideas how to fill those gaps around the community. We, I think, I mean, yeah. from Microsoft, sometimes they're a bit scary of our tools and sometimes they are so blessed that we open source people have been creating these tools. So, well, okay, in some cases, Microsoft realized we don't need to do it since it's out there in the community. And that's, so it's a bit, bit more of give and pay, give and, uh, and get from yeah. Microsoft between them and us. And uh, so that's a good relationship, sometimes a bit uh, hard, but I think it's a good thing. And they think that we are good for us to creating these tools. Okay, that's wonderful. Definitely, like we would come more from the user perspectives in the subsequent uh, sessions. We will see like how to make a connections, how to install it, and then very specific each and every tool, which is quite important to the community. So we will try to explain to the audience with the proper demos, the step by step processes and everything. Stay tuned with us and we will come up more and more videos around this area. On that note, thank you again, Jonas, for your support to the community and making this series happen. And I would also say audience that please subscribe to the channel, like and share the videos within the community and provide your feedback in the comment section. That is really important that what episode you want to cover to the next. Till that, have a great time and happy learning. Thank you. Take care.